What? This is maxed out already? Oh, God. It will take one second to max this one out. Look at that. Bam. We're done. This is insane. What's up, guys? It's Tenkosh, and we are with a named Space Idol today. <laughs> I accidentally reached the next milestone. We got the tasks unlocked just because I was doing the right thing with the crew. So in this video, we'll talk about how to get to the tasks and how to go through them. Important stuff. Let's go. So right, I was stuck at stage 70, at sector 70 for a while, but then I decided to do several important things that pushed me forward drastically. So what I did, I worked on the research a little bit. I think it's not enough yet, but it worked pretty well in order to get more uh, generation for the reactor. Obviously, my bases are up to the speed and we got all the upgrades available and most importantly we got this uncapped power boost you should have it by this time as well and that allows your reactor to do crazy things so even without it it should get some pretty good bonuses and uh, as you can see with the module itself right now it have 800 levels so all of those 100 levels have additional multipliers to them. Overall, we can turn off the boost engine and it will work just nicely to get us extra boost. Then it wasn't enough. I was struggling with a lot of stuff and I decided to work on my bases. I already have all the base layouts in the wiki. The link will be down below in the video description. But that's what we have working right now. You can copy them yourself. Well, pause the video and get them. I think those are all of them. It's pretty straightforward. I'm aiming for AFK build, so I won't have to go in and adjust things manually. And all of those are on auto buy. And as you can see, now it takes 10 plus years to buy the next upgrade for those. That's insane. But what I did, I got the right uh, build of the device and crew for the module build. So I installed... Oh, we already have the base shard here. That's curious. So I've got this uh, base shard. I surrounded it with, like, since... For the base you don't need anything i surrounded it with all those links so yeah it will get bonuses for all types of its production and then i went for the crew and i uh did the proper crew layout so we would get this base enjoyer and this growth focused bases and contribution focused bases so this is really important at this stage to make the right build turn off auto switch uh, and select the right type of skills to level up so for example for the bases you would like to have active engineering so you press engineering and don't get any proficiency especially for this one because here you get active proficiency total that means any of your characters shouldn't have any proficiency otherwise you will get like really bad multiplier here and it won't work so yeah so for the basis you would like to get engineering here engineering here then print those crew members then evenly distribute the point between this this and this over here this is not necessary and here you will go for base path as well that will allow you to get insane results i did the like last reset i did that and i've got about 10 times gains for all the bases that was pretty cool i really enjoyed that so that gave me 10 times more damage 10 times more compute speed 10 times more scene speed etc so what i did I, after that i did the reset Sadly, I didn't record that because I was like, that doesn't matter that much, but that matters a lot. <laughs> because the next thing I did, I did the, um, as always at the start of the run, I go for the compute. So I did the compute build, right? Same stuff, get everything you can here to get the compute bonuses, especially, uh, we have them right now, right? So that's what I used. This one with the blue link, so it will give the compute levels and everything. This one, it should have the orange link here, like that. So it will get the compute speed. And like overall, the generator here will get the more power. So we'll get the bonuses from the reactor. In the end, when I woke up today, I opened the compute screen and it was like, you're done. I was like, what the hell? So basically that gave me one E22 multiplier to damage and shield boost. That was insane. So I was like, okay, let's push forward a little bit. I was at sector 70, guys. And I wasn't even trying hard because all those things were like, they were maxed out. But you can kind of push it forward a bit more with the proper salvage build and all that. But I was just like, let's see how far we will go. And I got to sector 73. I was like, what the hell? And we unlocked prestige milestone for the tasks. So now, what kind of tasks do we have? Yeah, I basically described how to get here easily from stage 70, from sector 70, by doing the right thing. 
managing the crew. So now let's move on to the actual uh, tasks. What kind of tasks do we have? Sector 74 completion. I think we might be able to do that maybe next run. Maybe this one. We will see. I haven't really thought of that that much. Challenges. Complete all the challenges. That's easy. You should have completed them by now. So it shouldn't be a problem. Reactor. Run the, run the reactor with all levels maxed out for 5 minutes. So I guess we're not there yet. We will need a bit more gains from the warp drive for that those things because those are one of those tasks uh v device get full resonance manifest shard this is the shard i couldn't get so far it's here but chance to get it is pretty low but i think soon we'll be able to get it then synth infinite all available materials i'm working on that one right now uh we'll discuss it in a second Compute, reach the max damage and shields bonus of 1 E22. And I completed that before getting here. So I was like, oh, nice. Some of the tasks are already completed. And then we chase all warp upgrades. So that's what we need to do to complete all the tasks. And uh, I have no idea what it will give us, but probably it will give us some really cool bonuses. Actually, let's go to the wiki and see what those tasks will do. I think we have them here in the text guides. Tasks and how to beat them. There we go. So this is the guide. Here we have all the info that you need, the requirements, preparation, and uh, where you want to be before attempting the tasks. Um, honestly, I'm not sure that I'm there. I, I just got here and I was like, okay, let's go. So basically for the tasks, you would like to focus on each specific task. Some of those can be completed simultaneously, but for the most of them, you would like to actually focus on one specific task. So I think they are here in the proper order. So first you gotta do synth, then compute, then shard, then warp, then reactor, then sector 74. And there is a specific ship setup for this. This is pretty cool. But yeah, I guess going through this with the guide is a bit too boring for me. So we'll go and try to do it without it. And you can rely on the guide if you need help or maybe this video. Who knows? So right, we managed to do the compute and now we are working on synth. And before that, I was trying to make Ultima alloys. And before I did the adjustments like five minutes ago, it took me about 20 minutes to do one of those with everything maxed out, but without the crew. But in reality, if we don't put anything here, it will take two years to make one of those. I was like, ha, this is impossible. But what we did, we put the crew to the good use. So uh, what do we have here? For the cyber specialists, we got 10 in the speedy computation, to 40 in the mathematical materials that will give us 33 times speed. This is not good for us. And then we can get Synth Enjoyer that will use Active Ingenuity, in ingenuity total. So we need this yellow stat as high as possible to make this multiplier higher. In order to get that, we have other builds available here, right? So maybe we might want to switch this one to Ingenuity. So we will get more levels. Let's see the difference. Uh, 27, 44. <laughs> yeah, that will be very strong. So yeah. We will need to get the researcher instead of this one to get the higher ingenuity. Moreover, we have the warp study here. That's what we actually need as well. So probably we will need to reset this one because we got Aquaman, right? Because I want to have the warp being harvested at the same time for the warp upgrade. So right now, core charge time is 138. So let's do some adjustments for the crew. We have nine bios leaves those. That's crazy. Let's see if we'll get some high scores here. Yeah, we need to wait a little bit because we're getting to the high score here. 714. I don't think it will happen. So we're not getting the, the mastery point, the rank point. Yeah, screw that. Let's do the retire and just be done with it because I really want to get into the synth and see how crazy it will be because right now this got maxed out like very fast and we don't even have the right V devices. We don't have the synth shard equipped and <laughs> i want to see how fast it will be with everything ready so retire this this one is like secondary for us yeah we don't need it that high it's just additional stat so let's print this one let's get 10 of those since we're going ingenuity path we will get those as well i think we'll get them like even 25 since we need the shard as well we might use that as well here we will lower the synth so we're not going for that one ah, we need to reset that for this one it's okay we will be able to get it soon since we are we are getting rid of this thing as well so retire bam it will give us 15 times more warp essence gain guys that's insane ingenuity right let's go we will get uh 10 over here and the rest will go into the warp study 
to increase its speed and uh, the best course of action would be to leave this guy and that guy to get the levels up because we will need to put a crew shard over here to get extra crew points and we need ingenuity that's orange link so something oh, we don't need this one anymore. screw that we're going here okay this can go here this can go here let's remove this link all right so that's what i ended up with i might need to do some slight adjustments later but for now it will do because we have the shield damage bonus those guys have shields so it will help oh my god those recover fast so that's really convenient here we get ingenuity xp bonus we have flex shard with the synth speed and warp core here we have the synth speed now let's go to the crew and see how many crew bonuses we will get like extra XP and stuff we're not getting that much right yeah it's pretty slow but yeah in any case let's do the upgrades here and we should have like pretty decent synth speed right now uh what can we do here in order to make it better i will turn off this i will turn on that and i need this as well oh we don't need this anymore something like that so that will give us extra warp uh score charge speed we will get extra shard drop rate we also have sharp a uh, sharp drop rate from here oh no it have to be pink okay let's get this one because i really want to get the shards going as well all right so let's see what our chances are to get this thing. oh this is like 0.5 percent it's actually pretty decent it was never that good before uh, it can go higher if we will just max out the shard drop instead of warp but I need warp as well, so like shard is secondary for me right now. Let's take a look at the warp drive. 13 minutes to get one of those warp drives and uh, it will give us pretty decent results. Here we have E70, so that's nice. We still have the bonus. And for the scene, we will be able to upgrade all our stuff, I guess. Because, yeah, because we have everything we need. So let's take a look. Uh, we will switch those to different modules. Let's see. Oh my god, this is insanely fast. What? This is maxed out already? Oh god, it will take one second to max this one out. Look at that. Bam, we're done. This is insane. <laughs> look at this thing. That will allow us to do so much more. Let's go. Let's go. We will use them all. Max them all. God, so sad that we can't really use the synth points right now. We're still collecting them, so maybe there will be something later. I am not sure. But what I really like that those things are being completed so fast. Like 14 minutes for this one. 26 minutes for this one. Now, this is 12 hours. That's serious. But, oh, we got the new module. What the hell is this? Void Allure. Attracts enemies on a timer. Force an enemy wave spawn every 4 seconds. Overrides Void Beacon and works offline. That's nice so this is like better than that one let's see how it will go moreover we can max out this one now and that will give us insane bonus to the power and everything look at that and oh i want this one they are being one shot now more or less so what do we need for this we need ultima and uh really a nano fluid uh, let's see oh, we don't have those available yet let's focus on one thing at a time right and for the modules we can get this thing going so that will increase our charge speed. Oh, this will help. We maxed out the shard thingy. And now our chance is like 0.3%. This is so much better. The enemies are swarming at us. My God, we need more DPS. Uh, if we'll be able to boost the reactor, we can. That will... Oh, we got the... What the hell is this? Super conductive. That's the new tier. And they look different as well. Look at that. We have the different things. A rod and a rod. Superconductive and flexible rod. That's some new equipment for us. I love it. Let's upgrade those things as well. This is so nice. I love when you can do upgrades for uh, the modules because they are very powerful. So I'll just upgrade everything I can because that will help us in the long term as well. Yeah, we'll have upgraded things. As for the synth, it will take three minutes to max out Ultima sensors. We are pretty much done with it. What do I need for this? We need Ultima Relay and Nano Fluid, and those are still locked. In order to unlock them, we need Super Alloy and uh, Stabilizer. Look at that. Those armies, they can't do anything to us because we are insanely powerful. This is so cool. So the reactor right now is 804 for all those boosts. We can turn off the research. It doesn't change that much. Okay, if we'll turn off unnecessary things, it will give just one level. So that's nothing. Screw that. What we can do to make it better is put V device of Power Shard over here 
and that will allow us to boost those things a bit. Since we are synthing right now anyway, we don't really need to win. So let's die a little bit. I'm okay with that. But as long as we can get those upgrades to get us a bit more power, I'm up for it. Oh yeah, that's 13 levels. Yeah, this is great. Moreover, we should have some warp drive completions. Let's see. Do we need the max thing or the gain? Let's get this one. Yeah, I want generation to be higher. Reactor, max. Hell yeah. Start new 24. This is insane. So yeah, that gave us a bit of boost. Actually pretty nice. Overall, it's like 10 levels, so it's not that crazy, but it's still there and it will help. We got the infinite resource production here, so let's move on to one of those. And I really want to get to Ultima Relays and everything to upgrade my damage potential so we can push a bit further. Because we need to farm for that shard as well, which is impossible at this stage. So let's get those things now. Oh my god, this is slow. Can you imagine how long it will take without the proper equipment, without the proper bonuses? I can't. Yeah, I should mention that we have advanced synth station here, so we're not just you know, pushing it out of nowhere. Let's get an upgrade here, so that will give us a bit more of a synth speed. It will take 20 hours to max it out, so probably not that fast. Although we can pick those things up and that will speed things drastically to 8 hours. So we need to activate this module right here. Oh yeah, moreover, we should be able to push the warp a bit further away because we got so much stronger. So let's give it a go. Open warp, jump in. Although for that, we might want to switch this to more damage. Cool damage or armor damage. Those guys have armor, right? Yep. So we should be able to do a bit better job here. Void power generation. So that should give us a bit of a boost here. Uh, we don't need crew, so I'm working on... Oh, can we put it here? Yeah, on getting a bit more oomph, so we will get more damage. So we can really max out the warp drive right now to get even more gains from those really fast core charges. And uh, over here, most of the stuff is maxed out already. I have some of those things not finished. I'm okay with that. Some of the crew things are not done, but I'm mostly worried about the void power. And I need void power generation in order to get the most gains because in order to get the next bonus from the capacity, we will need to push it all the way to E80. That's far. So that's why we will aim for the generation bonus. Well, I'll be damned. We are pushing all the way to stage 74 already from 71. That's a drastic improvement in our rewards. So yeah, we will push all of them. It will take a while though. So give me time and we finished and we kept this challenge this is so cool let's close it we have more to do so let's go over here and uh what i want to do i want to replace this crew member with this one so we will be able to get we can't get engineering because it will lower our scene but i want to get extra energy from reactors so we will get Aquaman and uh, we might be able to get this and that will increase our void power generation. Well, it will make us stronger. So let's give it a go. Since we are here not for the tech, we can max this one out all the way to level 50. All right. And now we can get this. Base production does matter at this point. And that will make our reactor so much stronger. So we will get even more stats to push through the warp or anything for that matter. And for the synth as well. Look at that. It's faster. We reached another cap here. <laughs> All right, so we have only one of those. Really? Oh my God. We have only one of the warp areas left. Yota, that wasn't completed yet. Oh, ho, ho. this is curious. Let's go to the warp upgrades. And I want to finish since we're doing the synth challenge. Obviously, we would like to finish the synth improvements. Let's get those things here. And uh, uh, we can get some generation boost here. And we can get extra uh, levels for the guys that we use, for the crew. Who do we have? Energy technician, CR, materials engineer. Let's see. Uh, materials engineer, there we go. So that's one extra point over here that will give us 2% extra synth speed. Okay, maybe I was wrong that I said I don't know, need the void power max because as I'm buying those, I'm getting really close to E80. Moreover, we can get those upgrades that will increase our generation of energy that will actually give us a bit more power. Huh. I was like, 
What are we waiting for? We reached another cap. Okay, all of those are max now. We did all the stages, so we didn't miss anything. And uh, we can say that all the warp jumps and everything are completed now. Cool. Although we need, uh, in order to finish the warp, we will leave it for later. We will need a really powerful build to get the most of the, of the, of the warp. Because... Right now, even though we finished this one with the really good warp multiplier and maximum everything, uh, we can't afford even a single upgrade afterward. So, yeah, E25, we can get some knowledge here. What kind of members do we have? We need ingenuity. Ingenuity is pretty high, so we can't really afford that as well. So, yeah, I think in the current state, there is no point for us to push this too much. We should kind of lay it off because we did what we could. We maxed out everything here and we are now blowing through the enemies here because, yeah, as you guys remember, warp multiplier is also damage multiplier and shield multiplier for us. So let's go and attempt to go to sector 74. I believe that the further stages should have the higher rate of dropping us, yeah, the, the shard. Look at that. That's the capital ship we are flying through. And in the end, we have some sort of portal. I love that. Let's speed it up a bit. I hope we'll have enough DPS to go through this stage. And it would be cool to finish the stage 74 as well. So the boss, the big, powerful armored ship. Let's give it a go. My God, there are so many enemies. We got the new recipe unlocked. That's great. That means soon we'll become stronger. Hey, we're pretty strong. We don't really care about their damage or anything. And we are going straight into sector 74. And we got that. What the hell is that? Singularity or something? Oh my god. Can we beat the enemies though? Sector data 74. Those guys have 22% chance to drop us the shard. And here it was like 005. Ooh, they're so strong. My god. Huge barrier phasing carrier. <laughs> my god. So, what do we need to defeat it? We need 15 barrier. That's insane. And it's phasing too. Yeah, they're very strong. All right, let's try to get the synth and get the things that we need for the damage upgrade. Wow, this is slow. And we can upgrade the tier now and get even better shields and damage. And uh, it's pretty decent. It's not that bad. We will wait because we can do some upgrades straight away. Oh my god, they're so strong. How do we fight that? <laughs> this is challenging. We need pink connection as well. This is complex. Let's do this. And this so we'll have both sin speed and shard drop rate now the chance to drop this one is still the same what the hell 28 percent ah i was looking at the wrong thing 22 by default and with this thing in place it's 1.3 percent now this is something that can be achieved because oh god because uh otherwise it's really hard to reach that milestone to get even single of those uh shards v devices i'm not even i don't even know what does it do so i'm really curious about that so yeah let's let's keep going uh let's keep upgrading our damage and probably we'll be able to overcome the enemies here oh we're back at 73 that's why let's push forward yeah it's working way better now with the proper upgrades to our damage it, i think we need to change the layout for this since they're phasing that much we need something against the phasing enemies, like uh, more of those phasing guns. So something like uh, missile, missile disruption, maybe one more disruption charge instead of the bomb launcher or a beam laser because they don't have those shields, right? So the beam laser won't, won't help. I'm not entirely sure. They are very powerful. I'm not even sure if I can kill the main guy since they spawn a lot of the phasing big enemies. Right, I activated auto laser boost and that seems to help me to get rid of those carriers. I also turned off the void lure so they won't spawn so much, so they won't swarm me. But it's so easy to get lost here because they are all spawning in and out and it's really hard to get rid of them. They are very powerful and um, over time they will add up and you won't be able to beat them that easily. So yeah guys, Sector 74 is a bit too hard for me right now. I think I need to get a bit more oomph upgrades and everything. Because yeah, we need to get reactors stronger and that kind of stuff I guess. Uh, but for now we are working on the synth. We are working on this upgrade and that will help so much 
in the future. What I will do now, because I'm uh, a bit stuck at this point, I will wait for the synth to do its synth things. Um, how much time do we need to complete any of those? Most of those are pretty much doable. They they need only like a couple of hours. This one is one minute. Let's go finish. So yeah, it's pretty doable in a day or two to finish those things. Uh, at least most of them. You don't really need to rush it to do everything at one go. I just want to have the modules, like those things being mixed out. And in order to mix them out later, we will need those things kind of mixed out as well. But yeah, with access to the new tier of resources, I can do so much because I have ability to better research bonuses so we can push those a bit more that will give us even more salvage gains, synth speed, energy and everything. We can push it all the way to, I think, 105 or so. So that should give us like 50% more or so. And uh, with the proper equipment, we can get the bases up as well. So base production will go higher. We can do another run for bases and get the multiplier here higher in order to get more stuff. So we will get more damage and everything. And it will make clearing this area way easier because right now it's kind of okay. But at the same time, you know, it's still complex. And the enemies at, at the Sector 74 are pretty powerful. And I won't be able to even go to the boss. Let's give it a go to see how he is. Well, we can see him here. Uh, armor, face jump, power 8, damage 109. So he can kill me in one hit right now. Armor is E112. We don't even have the damage. So probably we're not ready for that yet. So we need to get some more preparation. And obviously, it feels like it's supposed to be done Sector 74 after you complete all those tasks and get stronger. All right, so I'm at the end of Sector 74. I'm trying to lure the boss out to see how they are. But the enemies that they spawn here, they have way too powerful. Look, look at that, they destroy me. Let's try to boost it up and go through this and see how it will go. No, I will be destroyed. So we are not ready for this yet. Let's fall back to Sector 73 farm get the scene done get everything ready get some war bonuses uh crew members and everything and we can complete it without any significant issues afterwards i think so it's not that bad yeah we got lucky we discovered the new shard and uh, it's a unique one you can put it only in the blue slot and it gains bonuses from the links that it have and by default it's so weak. Oh my god. It's pretty useless by default, guys. So I won't really use it right now. And we need way more copies of it. We need to farm it. And in order to farm it efficiently, we will need way higher uh, amount of shard drop. Because even this 1.1% doesn't give us that much. So screw that. We are not hunting for shard right now. I think I will switch to the research build right now to get those things up and then work on the rest of the synth and uh, maybe on the reactor. So let's turn off this. What else do we need? We will need to remove the synth though for that. Oh, well, we have several retrofits left that will do. Let's go for the research station. We will start with the uh, research gain as always and switching things around here as well. We will also have to replace some crew. Not all of them though. This one, this is not good as well. We need points in the research. Let's retire this fella. Put him in the research. Retire this fella. Oh, should have, right? Akumen, yeah, all good. We will get only 10 points here. And the rest will go into the research. I think we need to move to the previous stage because here we can't really beat anyone. And yeah, the spawns that they send, they don't give us any... Uh, XP here, so it's kind of worthless. All right, we got the new achievement. That's dope. What does it do? Uh, crew XP multiplier. That's great. All right, so we divide those things here and we have 21 points. We can put them anywhere. In the perfect world, if you want to get the max out of it, you would like to put them in only one of those things uh warp drive research i think we need to put them in the observational research right now so we'll get more of those we can't use it because of the ingenuity oh we have to retire those guys all right and we might have a use of ecumen total usage because both research here is being scaled of active ecumen total and uh, the bottom things no not bottom one this one active ecumen total so if we will get more ecumen that will give us more research i would like to max out that stuff right now since i have the maximum combat power and then we'll go through another cycle get everything and get the tasks 
completed. That's the planet. Let's print this. Let's print that. That Ackerman should be really useful. So right now we have 200 already. It was 100 before. So those things are really putting the research up to the next level and we are at 100 research at least something that's nice we can do the same with the shards and everything and kind of put everything to the a bit higher level but it will take a while so i think i'll go off right now we will have to wait a little bit to get the research up to get everything else up and basically that's how we will go through the tasks it will take a while though so i'm not in a hurry let me know what do you think about the tasks yourself in the comments down below because i will was surprised to actually get here i was like why if you need more guides on unnamed space idol there is a playlist over here with all the videos and there is a link to usi wiki at game vault that have all the info as well other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand out have a good one bye